thank you for joining me on another Hannah McAndrew video. Today's video is going to be all about telangiectasia, broken veins, spider veins, broken capillaries, whatever you like to call them. So a picture is going to come across your screen right now, just showing you some different examples of what I'm talking about. This is a common concern that I see quite a lot in clinic, usually in fairer skinned or red-headed clients with like a Gaelic uh, phenotype. And today's video is going to be about how they are caused, what, what they actually are, and how we can treat them. There are a network of blood vessels in your skin, not just in the face, but you have a more dense uh, network around the cheeks here, which is why we usually see them around the cheeks. When a vessel gets damaged, and we'll talk about the reasons as to how that can happen in a minute, a network of vessels will kind of sprout off it and create then what we see on the skin as what people sometimes incorrectly call the broken vein. Now, if it is a spider vein, then it'll be a blue appearance because the, the vein is blue because it contains deoxygenated blood. If it's a broken capillary, it'll appear red because it's containing oxygenated blood. So that's a vessel that's bringing blood to the surface of the skin. And that's needed to obviously bring the skin nutrients and then the veins take blood away to take away any waste. Now, why would this sprouting occur? So damage has to occur to a more major vessel first. Now, this could be hereditary. Some people are just more prone to um, having bad blood vessels. It can also be due to sun damage, so what better reason to wear your SPF? They can be due to uh, hormones in pregnancy. Medical conditions like, for example, lupus. A physical injury such as uh, scarring or keloid scarring can sometimes have um, you know, veins in that area. Or also sometimes friction as a physical injury, you know, if it's over exfoliating the skin, sometimes that can be associated or excess heat and things like that. So like some sort of physical injury to the skin. Some medications like calcium channel blockers actually cause the blood vessels to dilate more. And therefore then they'll appear worse. Also some medications can make you more sensitive to light. So again, really important that wearing SPF. Also long-term steroid use. So if you're using corticosteroids like uh, hydrocortisone creams in the face, or anywhere on the skin, or taking steroids orally, or corticosteroids orally, then again, that can actually cause telangiectasia as well. Rosacea is a big cause of telangiectasia, because in, in the rosacea skin, it's chronically red, particularly around here, where you have more blood vessels. We know it can be due to a barrier impairment condition. Also, sometimes an excess of vitamin D in the skin can cause rosacea. But ultimately, in the rosacea skin, the fact that the client is flushing, you know, this blood coming to the skin, coming back out, the, the, the vessels are dilating and constricting, dilating, constricting. Doing that all the time chronically can actually cause the damage to the vessels in that way, which is why we also see things like spider veins on the legs and broken capillaries on the legs. If you are standing up all the time, you know, there's excess inflammation there, the vessel gets damaged, another network of vessels will grow around that damaged vessel, and that's what we see. As we age as well, the skin gets more thin, you lose collagen, it becomes thinner, and therefore then you're going to have the appearance of these becoming worse because the skin's becoming more uh, see-through and you can see them more. So what are the treatments then? Now, unfortunately, there's no skincare in the world that's going to help. Um, it's going to, you can have a skincare that is going to help prevent future formation if it is caused by something like rosacea. But everything else, no. Okay. You can get rid of them with treatments like electrolysis, which will actually cauterize the vessel. Things like laser and IPL, which the pigment in the, in the blood in the vessel is going to absorb. The light energy converted into heat damage the vessel that way, and obviously it's just going to kill the vessel so we can no longer see it. You've got something called sclerotherapy, which is used for the blue varicose veins only, that you inject it with a salt solution to kill off the vein that way. Also, some salons offer something called vein away or thermovein treatments, which are basically like a little needle, a bit like electrolysis, but rather than electric current, it's microwaves that are going to heat up the vessel to kill it off. Now, all of these methods will obviously, you know, get rid of the, the visible capillaries for you, or the visible blood vessels for you. But, 
if you do suffer with rosacea, and this is why they are occurring, you need to also treat the fact that the skin is suffering from this chronic inflammation. Really, really good barrier repair skincare is going to help with this. You don't want to go spending a fortune on having your skin lasered or having IPL or electrolysis to only develop more telangiectasia in the future. So things like barrier repair ingredients, ceramides on the skin, um, creams that are rich in essential fatty acids that don't have perfumes in them, for example. Also wearing really, really broad spectrum SPF every single day. I mean, if ever there was a reason to do it, apart from the fact that it's really good for anti-aging, really good for pigmentation on the skin, really good for acne, it's also really good at preventing you from getting telangiectasia. So please wear your SPF. In terms of rosacea as well, other things that can help are avoiding things like caffeine, chocolate, Bananas can actually be a trigger food for some people. Acidic foods like tomatoes, peas, sweet corn, red meats, alcohol, unfortunately, can all contribute. Um, but I think the most important thing is to get your skincare under control first. You know, see a skincare specialist to get your um, make sure that your skin is functioning at its optimum. Get the rosacea under control, and then pay your money to have your in salon treatments like lasering, electrolysis, etc to actually get rid of the veins then. If you would like to book a free skin consultation online, you can do so at hannahmacandrew.com. Also have free online training videos aimed at skin therapists on my website, which you can actually preview and then purchase on the website, which is hannahmacandrew.com. Thank you very much for joining me and I hope to see you again soon on another video.